Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast. Brought to you by 45 North. Check them out this morning for some great breakfast to fuel up for your day or this afternoon after skiing for some great apres or dinner. And you can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. Well, for today, those clouds will get out of here this morning. Partly sunny skies for the day today, 19 to 23 for your summit temperatures. 30 to 34 will do it for your base temperatures. So kind of cool for this time of year, but the snow won't go anywhere. The sun will feel nice, so get out there and enjoy. Could see some gusts uh, first thing this morning, but those should die down as the morning uh, goes on and we'll continue to see partly sunny skies for the day on Sunday with a chance of flurries later in the day. Cooler temperatures still on uh, Sunday. Highs only reaching 33 at the base, 22 at the summit and we'll see a summit wind barely noticeable from the northwest for the day on Sunday. So get out there and enjoy it. We did get about two or three inches of new snow out there which will groom in very nicely. The groomers did a Great job last night getting a ton of trails. We'll talk about that in a minute. But Monday looking like a great day. Partly sunny skies, a high of 31. Warms up just a bit for Tuesday with some evening snow showers with a high of 37. And then partly sunny skies and a chance of some flurries with a high of 39 on Wednesday. So cooler temperatures. Winter is sticking around. Get out there and enjoy it. Two to three inches of new snow. 84 trails uh, open this morning. 12 lifts getting into those runs. 79 trails on the groomers list last night. And they did get to pretty much everything they wanted wanted to and more. As you can see here on the scheduled grooming list for last night, Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Spur Line, King's Landing, and Hayburner, Gondola Line, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Spillway, Sluice. They also got uh, Skitter, Buckskin, Binder, White Nitro, Wedge, all of the trails. Choker over on the east side, uh, so they did get a lot of extra grooming in last night, so things should be great out there. First thing this morning, get out there and hit it up. Hallback, Ramdown, Wiffletree, Widowmaker, and Flume, as well as Slasher, Scoot, Horseshoe, Good Chance, as well as West Mountain, uh, all across the mountain. Pretty much everything that is open is freshly groomed out, so get out there and enjoy. 8 o'clock this morning, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. Sawduster and Skidway will move you around the base area at 8.30 and 9 a.m. The Muscalator gets going, which is the conveyor lift. Get you up and down the Birch's Slope if you're just learning to ski or ride. Double Runner East and West get going at 8.30. They get you a little bit higher on the hill for groomed out runs down Boardwalk and Lower Winter's Way. West Mountain scheduled to run this morning at 8 o'clock. And Super Quad and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well as Timberline at 9 a.m. That gets you up to the second highest mountain in Maine. If you're a beginner, check out the Timberline Trail down with some great views. King Pine and Wiffle Tree, those are the east side lifts. King Pine, more advanced terrain. Wiffle Tree, a bit more intermediate terrain. They did groom out Moose Alley last night. Max Smith Book Talk and signing. Mainers on the Titanic down at the Carabasset Valley Public Library at 4.30 today. Check that out. A great event. Very interesting stuff. Also, events coming up today, free, 7 p.m. tonight at the Sugarloaf Inn. Broke and, Broke and Stoke contest uh, finalists will be showing at the Sugarloaf Inn or at the Sugarloaf Inn for the uh, Maine Outdoor Film Festival. Swimmers happening at the Widowmaker Lounge tonight. Some great live music. And as always, the Sugar Bowl, 235, 3300 to reserve a bowling lane. But they've got virtual golf as well as an arcade, some great food, and a great bar atmosphere as well down at the Sugar Bowl. And today, we're going to kick off the last watch and win of the winter season. Uh, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. tonight, as well as this morning. We'll wrap things up on Sunday morning, and we'll also draw for those amalgam skis, as well as some other great prizes to give away, so be sure to tune in. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's where you'll find us on social media. We're always at our website, WSKITV.com, so you can know before you go. You've got to check out our live quad cam on there so you can see exactly what's happening year-round at the base of the Super Quad, so you can know before you go. Have a great day out there, folks. Also want to let you know that the Outdoor Center has done some grooming, so if you want to get your last uh, cross-country skiing in, uh, go down there and check that out. It is free and open to everyone.